Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. The reading for today is going to be for the week of January 28th, which is a Monday, to February 3rd, a Sunday. Of course, you know, these readings are timeless, so you probably have already started moving into these energies already, or if you haven't, will soon. All right, anyway, so let's jump right in. Uh, if I had to summarize this right away, I would say that I feel that you are stuck in between. <laughs> stuck in between. So let's see if this message is for you. Let's check our significators. So what I'm seeing here, uh, Virgo, is that you're stuck in this place in your life. You're stuck in this place in your life with respect to rela a relationship. This reading clearly comes across as a relationship to me. Um, I'm feeling two, ma two men, so maybe you are a, main, a, ma a male watching this and you're interested in another male. Um, or of course, it's just that may just be some of the viewers that I'm picking up on, but it's just anybody if it relates, okay? So what I'm seeing is that, oh, and this man may be older than you, a little bit older than you, okay? So maybe, for example, if you're, for example, if you're uh, 28 to 32, this person might be like 38 to 42, okay? That's what I'm picking up on for some of you or one of you out there. So I see that, uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's ringing true. Okay, so there seems to be an age imbalance for anybody, any Virgo who's watching this. This may be a factor. There's an age imbalance and I feel it comes across as though your youth is doing you in a little bit. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, it, it shows you in this place in your life where you are stuck in between. Because on the one hand, you had this relationship that, you know, you it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. It's like you got to have the relationship, you got to have this connection with this older man I'm hearing. I'm feeling for some of you, or maybe it's just this one person that I'm picking up on, your energy is strong, or maybe you just need a specific reading right now. Um, I feel that you're a young man, maybe a student maybe, this is maybe this is your professor, or someone who took a professorly uh, relationship with you or in that way. And I think you two have just, he's just in a different life cycle, he's, a, he's older. And he's been there, done that in a sense. He's in a different life cycle, maybe a homeowner, maybe of that caliber. Um, and you are this young, inspired person. You're inspired by him. You loved him. You, you know, you thought this could work out. I feel like uh, youth is, um, your youth is coming into play here. Uh, part of it, I feel, in this particular connection for this one listener, part of it, I feel, is that this older gentleman um, is... I feel a little tired, as as is with, not tired of you, uh, tired when people get older and they get into their 40s, their mid 40s, late 40s even, they tend to get a little tired of life. And I don't mean tired of life, so please if you or any of my viewers are in that age range, I don't mean, if it doesn't resonate with you, it's not you. Um, but for some people, they're tired, they've, they've been there, they've done that, they've had many relationships, they see patterns that a young person would not be able to see right they can spot things like overindulgence they can spot things like um uh infatuation they just they're not i'm not saying that's what you are virgo or or you know i'm just saying that that's what i'm seeing this older person if you're involved with this older person who is like a professor or a teacher or you know at your school or just whatnot they see in you your youth your inexperience okay and we should never we should never shame anyone for youth and in it and inexperience because we were all there they were all there at one point all right so anyway let's go back to the reading for virgos in general um i don't know why but for this week through my readings <laughs> um spirit is giving me messages for specific people so that should be fun if it's for you. Um, so you had this this turn with this person, um, and it didn't turn out the way that you wanted to. You're kind of, you know, downtrodden about it, sad because you put your heart and soul into it. And here you are, the King of Cups. You really, really, really showed up for this relationship, and you did the best you can do. Let me uh, say that to you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. 
Virgo. Or maybe Virgo's the older person. I don't know. But I'm looking at you. You did the best you could with everything you had. Okay? So you love yourself for that. Because some people can't even show up for that. I'm seeing from Spirit that they're saying to ex feel your innocence and pureness. It's okay to have these dreams and to have had these dreams of together and forever and and happiness and just being with each other and just being there for each other and not letting age or circumstance or anything get in the way these are this is pure innocence and they are saying to feel it they're saying to let go of any chaos that you have inside look there's chaos and there's a, a feeling of I screwed it all up I'm 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 stupid I'm young I'm not this I'm not that and that's just not the right way to, to look at this situation okay so they're saying to have compassion for yourself I feel that on some level you wanted this to work out for a long term a major long term connection or um, or marriage or some sort if you're a Virgo and you're listening and this resonates one of you in the connection either it's you or the other person wanted this to be a marriage situation and and you saw it like that this could happen because you as far as you're concerned it's possible but it's almost like the other person didn't see it possible based on their their awareness spirit is saying their awareness, their consciousness, their age, their, you know, just based on the life they've led. And I don't feel that this person, I don't feel that it was an easy thing for this person to let you go or to let this connection go. I feel for some of you, this person may have let this connection go, like let it just dwindle out or try to phase it out or um, ghost a little bit for the sake of phasing. Or maybe they just sat you down and told you, you know, gently, as gently as they could. Um, but I don't think this was easy because they felt your pain and it's a, they know your pain because they've been there before and, you know, they've had relationships before. They have many of them before and anyway, it's making me sad thinking about it. So I'm always on the receiving end, I feel, so I'm feeling this too. Um, but they're saying to you, to you um, Virgo, that or whoever is watching this and is in this position they're saying that you know what this one may not have worked out but they're saying what comes from this is amazing wisdom to have been able to love so deeply and to have done it with such pure intention is something I would say so many people in this world just struggle. I mean, you know how many readings I do for people and they just struggle to do it um, because of fears, because of deception, because of just whatever. And you showed up for it for this. They're showing you, hey, let's mosey on over here. There are less, there, let's process. And through this relationship, processing this relationship, look at what you become. You become so enlightened, so wise, and this is a wisdom that came from a relationship. So this person that you were in love with, who's reading as older than you and more wizened than you, if not a little bit more jaded, I feel, I don't even feel that they were jaded. I just think this relationship was just one where there's just so much innocence and love and you two truly had a good time together but perhaps it's destiny I really feel there's a sense of destiny here perhaps it's destiny that this person was supposed to play a teacher or mentor or role in your life to teach you this wisdom that could only have come through a loving connection like you guys had um, I know that pales in comparison because I'm like literally feeling hearts breaking because I my heart's breaking now <laughs> I feel it and um, It's not easy to be in that position where it's like you just want to give this tantrum You want to have this temper tantrum because you just want it to be okay, and you want to bargain This is these are this is grief that you're going through. I see this here in the eight of cups Okay I see this here and I'm seeing that your guides are working with you on the soul level as well as the physical level. Look, the physical level, you're watching this video. <laughs> but on the soul level as well, to slide into your heart 
I'm feeling that on a horizontal slide into your heart on a horizontal way and to ease your pain and I feel like crying now as I'm saying this and you know but um, they're easing your pain and you will love again they're saying that you will love again look at these arrows just going and you will hit your mark they're saying everything that you're learning from this relationship from this compassionate relationship this relationship is so compassionate I wouldn't be surprised if you just loved each other deeply on the other side as well it's just such a compassionate relationship of teacher student um, they're saying you will love, love again and the very thing that you were searching for and were hoping to re to reach and to achieve in this relationship with this person you will find and then some with somebody else and it's kind of like maybe that's even something that this older person was telling you maybe they saw the writing on the wall thinking I'm older I'm like 10 or 12 years older than you and I've already reached a certain age and one day you're gonna want someone younger to be with you and to you know maybe they told you that kind of stuff I'm not sure but um, I feel that whatever the wisdom they've given you will come to pass you'll realize that um, you will find love again and they're saying that the beautiful thing about it is that this time it will be a tempered love and not a jaded one where like we you know we reach a certain age and we've had our hearts broken so many times and now when we go into relationships we don't give much of ourselves we you know we're ready to ghost at any second not that this is a spiritual this is a loving energetic temperance that you will bring and you will be able to create your own happiness through this temperance they're saying okay now what will be tempered maybe this fate situation thinking it's our fate to be together maybe you will learn that fate does have its role but sometimes the fate is to not be together maybe the lesson is just because the love is real and we're here together in this space and it doesn't mean it's going to happen you know and um, yeah I'm feeling spirit is saying that's it so maybe that will mean that you won't take anyone for granted that maybe you'll love deeper and love more in the moment who knows right but it'll be beautiful I mean I just feel the word beauty coming from right here okay um, I'm seeing also that yes there is a packing up you know yes there is a hanging it up here you guys are going your separate ways but I feel that you're heading on to something even bigger and better this castle in the sky you're starting your journey now and it's a journey that we all have to take nobody nobody and nobody um, what's the word I don't envy it. nobody envies the person at the beginning of the journey okay that's where you are so maybe some of you watching this may be quite young, bless you, yeah, and, or, or just inexperienced, you know, um, I've been there, I might still be there, but I do see that there is a shift, there is going to be a cutting off here, but at the same time I feel that you are still longing and still hoping for this connection with this person. If you look at it, this person is like your king. And I see you still longing and hoping to have that connection. But I do see that God is so good. That's just a beautiful thing. Maybe, you know, God is good. I feel that you're going to receive a message. Maybe it's this reading. Maybe somebody else, somewhere else. You're going to receive a message to you that's going to help you to change your perspective and cut through any shadows and fears that you have any sadness and whatnot maybe you're gonna learn something that is going to set your heart at ease it could be something that I don't know sometimes we get a piece of information that helps us to um, yeah I just pulled a card right here sometimes we get a piece of information that just helps it be all better and so I'm just gonna go ahead and rest that here so this information is going to come to you. If it's not through this reading, it will come through something else, okay? And it will help you to cut any cords that need to be cut here. Sorry, I'm doing this because I feel energy cutting the cords. <laughs> it's going to help you to cut any cords that need to be cut, okay? 
So the word of the day for you is beauty, compassion. We all have compassion for you. And if and if you could just line a whole bunch of people up who've had this in their life, you, uh, just to everyone give you a group hug, you might find yourself among people, a, a group of people that span like the state of California. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so quick summary for you. Yes, there was a relationship that recently ended. It didn't end for the innocence and the genuineness and the integrity. Dear God, that's one word that is used the least in this world. The integrity with which you came to this relationship. You did everything perfect, okay? They're saying that they're releasing you. You're being released. They're releasing you from this connection now. And you are going to learn. You're going to be learning some great wisdom from this and we want to thank your teacher they're saying for taking the time with you and for being so kind and so compassionate with you and just loving you in the best way that they could and check this out now this card comes in i was wondering what this card is if you love somebody let them go this is this person letting you go it's it may not have been easy for them either but trust me would you want to know that one day the person that is saying they love you so much is going to no longer want to be with you for something like because of age or because they found some they don't want that either and maybe it's de destiny that you guys aren't supposed to reach that level so um, spirit is saying that there's great love for you from this person um, but they are saying that now it's time for you to to move forward because you have other people to meet and you have other things to do and you have lessons to learn and they are going to love you from afar, they're saying, okay? So they're saying to take that with you and to sit with it. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but to sit with it. In my, I'm like wanting to cry this whole reading. Why are you doing this? <laughs> and um, they're saying maybe this is the message that you need to receive. Or maybe someone else will give you this message but whatever the message is is going to help you like you're literally gonna feel better like oh yeah maybe it's just gonna be finding out you were the love of this person's life I don't know like something like that okay so we're going to um, end the reading here if you'd like to have a more specific reading with me or you'd like to see what other um, uh, I'm saying I want to say something else but spirit is saying messages if you'd like to see any other messages that are for you um, please uh, yeah check the description box below I do offer other services as well so either way I'd love to see you t tune in next week remember that every week what comes through me is d is I don't have control over what comes through me so maybe next week's Virgo reading may resonate with you or may not maybe it's for other Virgos out there but if it resonated with you today this one's for you okay so thank you so much bye